Dear students, welcome to this presentation. Today we are going to talk about writing a paragraph. Okay, uh, a paragraph is a group of sentences which present uh, one main idea, a single idea. Uh, a paragraph is very important because the paragraph is the basis for writing essays. Uh, a paragraph helps the reader to organize the ideas in a coherent unit and they also uh, group together associated ideas. The typical parts of a paragraph are topic sentence, supporting details and concluding sentence. Okay, first of all, let's analyze what a topic sentence is. The topic sentence states the main idea of a paragraph. The main sentence of the paragraph is the topic sentence because it describes the content and direction of the paragraph. Also, the topic sentence states the main point the writer wants to make about a specific subject. The topic sentence should be general enough to express the overall idea of the paragraph and at the same time it should be specific enough so that the reader can understand what the writer is trying to, to express or what's the point of the paragraph. The topic sentence introduces an overall idea that the writer will discuss later in the paragraph. It will discuss in the supporting details. Let's analyze the following example of a paragraph. Here we have MasterCard is changing its advertising campaign for the global market. It is trying to appeal to a new market, the everyday person who values family. MasterCard knows that family values have an international appeal because it has done market research and proved it. The company's commercials give the same message in different languages. Time with family is priceless. As a result, this campaign is working successfully around the world. So in this paragraph, the topic sentence is MasterCard is changing its advertising campaign for the global market. In most of the cases, we will find the topic sentence at the beginning of the paragraph. Now, let's talk about the supporting details. The supporting details are very important because they express reasons, facts or examples, sometimes statistics, uh, which support the topic sentence. They explain the idea which is expressed in the topic sentence and help the reader, uh, the reader understand exactly what the writer is trying to, to express through the topic sentence. The, the, the supporting details help the, the writer develop the idea he, he already expressed in the topic sentence. The topic sentence usually is at the beginning of the paragraph, as I already said, and after the topic sentence, we find the different supporting details. In the example we previously analyzed, we find the supporting details exactly after the topic sentence, which is the first one. Um, here, the supporting details include it is trying to appeal to a new market, the everyday person who values family. Then we have MasterCard knows that family values have an international appeal because it has done market research and proved it. And the last supporting detail is the company's commercials give the same message in different languages. Time with family is priceless. priceless. So, we, as we can see, topic uh, the supporting details follow the topic sentence and they support the idea which was previously expressed in the topic sentence. 
uh, in the topic sentence says MasterCard is changing its advertising campaign for the global market. So how we demonstrate that? We demonstrate that through the three topic sentences that, that follow. It is trying to appeal to a new market, etc., etc. Then we have know that family values have an international appeal. And then the company's commercials give the same message in different languages. So uh, all the topic sentence, all the supporting details must be related to the topic sentence because they support the idea which was expressed there. So if we, if we need unity, we need that all the supporting details have relation with the topic sentence. Now, the concluding sentence is always at the end of the paragraph. It, in most of the cases, it repeats keywords from the topic sentence, and uh, it can be a summary of the paragraph. Sometimes the concluding sentence also offers a solution to a problem that was previously discussed, or can restate the topic sentence and add something additional, uh, about, or maybe can add the writer's opinion, or offer possibilities for the future, which are related, of course, to the topic of the paragraph. In the example, we have, in the, we have analyzed uh, the last sentence is the concluding sentence. It says, as a result, this campaign is working successfully around the world. So, as a result, therefore, um, sometimes other, other phrases or, or transitions are used in order to present the last idea of the paragraph, which is called the concluding sentence. Okay, so thank you very much, and I hope we will have another opportunity to discuss interesting topics about our subject. Thank you very much.